from your grave. Rise from your grave. This is Altered Beast on the Sega Genesis. Power up. This guy's looking pretty good for having been dead and then risen from the grave. I guess he was actually encased in stone or carbonite or something like that. You're playing as this bohunk beefcake stud muffin and you walk around the graveyard here and kick these two-headed dogs. Every now and then a blue one comes at you and unleashes a huge steroid ball which then turns you into an even bigger beefcake that uh, you use to defeat an army of the undead trying to kill you. I think I've basically just summed up the entire game. So many of us associate Altered Beast with the Sega Genesis because this is the game that came with our Sega Genesis when we got it. When I, uh, when I purchased my Sega Genesis back in 1989, I think. It was an awfully long time ago. It came with this game. And this was basically the first Genesis game that I played a lot. And it has a nice two-player mode. I'm just showing you the one-player mode in the storyline here. This was a huge step up from the Nintendo Entertainment System in terms of graphics, colors, <laughs> and of course that tremendous voice dialogue. The rise from your grave and welcome to your doom lines are just classic. The gameplay of Altered Beast is, is generic and uninspired to say the least. But it is an entertaining game, and it's certainly, it's certainly a blast from the past and a nice nostalgic look back at the early Sega Genesis games. After you've collect three of your steroid ball power-ups, you then turn into a beast, hence the title of the game, Altered Beast. The problem with Altered Beast is, like many side-scrollers that aren't your top-of-the-line side-scrolling games like Revenge of Shinobi or the Shinobi games or Contra, it gets repetitive quickly and there's no variation in the gameplay. And that every time you play it, the exact same bad guys come at you in the exact same way and it turns into a game of memorizing when to punch, when to kick. It's a short game, so it's definitely cool to pick it back up and play Altered Beast again, but but it's far from one of the best games on the Sega Genesis. You have to collect three of the steroid balls in each level before the bad guy with the shaved head lets you fight one of the giant monsters. It's probably a life lesson there, I just don't know what it is. And when you turn into the beast, you get special powers. You can turn into a uh, werewolf, a dragon, a gigantic uh, mutant bear like Teddy Ruxpin that shoots bubblegum bursts that then freeze your targets. The, the bear's my least favorite by far. It almost looks like he's a cartoon character trying to say something, but there's no words in his word balloon. This footage comes from the Sega Genesis collection on the PlayStation 2. A tremendous PlayStation 2 disc that has about two dozen games on it from the Sega Genesis including some really good ones like Shinobi 3, the Golden Axe series, and Fantasy Star 2, 3, and <laughs> Fantasy Star 4, as well as the first and second Sonic game. This, this disc is a must-have if you like the Sega Genesis, but you don't happen to have all of the games on it. Because you're going to get these for your PS2, and I always talk about my modified Sega Genesis with S-Video, but the PlayStation 2 with this game and component video is even better. It looks phenomenal, it's the best you'll ever see a Sega Genesis game look and sound. And here's a look at all the different games on this disc. Oh. 
and you can see it's just a tremendous collection. It gives you some information about each game. There's some unlockable interviews in there and some uh, some extra games even. And for about 20, 25 bucks, this game is a must-have and costs far less than it would cost to actually collect all of these games for your Sega Genesis. My biggest gripe about Altered Beast is that this game is speciesist. Your bohunk turns into a powerful, dangerous beast. But these are all beasts we've seen used time and time again in literature, movies, and video games. We have the werewolf, dragons, bears, and some kind of golden lion cheetah thing. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, that's played out. It's time to use some different animals in video games. For instance, if our bohunk had turned into a giant tree sloth, that shot green lightning out of its paws. That would have been different. That would have been more fair and equal to different species. And there's another animal that's been forgotten time and time again in gaming when we think about tough, dangerous animals. And that's the platypus. The platypus is one of those unique animals it's a mammal that lays eggs. They look like beavers with duck bills. 